this is Kevin, also known as AWOL, and I am getting further ahead on this project than I actually had expected. So I wanted to create a little short video to kind of show you uh, about adding string in this portion of it, and kind of because it's going along so well. So these first couple colors here are the ones that were just replaced in the last row. So I can just go ahead and just tie my knot, and that's that, right? So it's these the next three where I have to add. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I do half of the knot, which is, you know, essentially just go up there once. And then, okay, off to the side here, I'm grabbing string off my little hooks that uh, keep it within arm's reach, kind of helps speed things up a little bit, better than walking across the whole room. So, but you still kind of have to bear with me. Um, so now what I do is I find the halfway point and I put this over top of the short, this one here down here is short and this is my new long one. And then I go ahead and I complete the second part of the knot. So now what I have is four strands coming out from this one point. All right, so now I go to the next one and I do the same thing. I create half of the knot grab my string and yes if you're thinking just watching this that oh my gosh this is so tedious um trust me you have no idea what it's like to do it as much as i've been doing it here lately so yeah and pretty much every time i'm doing this i'm thinking to myself what have i gotten myself into but at the same time i'm going to end up with this really cool pillow and um, yeah, I totally think it's going to be worth it. So yeah. Okay. So now the next one, same thing. So these in the previous row, I replaced three strings and this is replacing three. So that means that all six will have been replaced when I say six, right? It's like there's six colors. So there's six on one side, six on the other 12, I guess. I'm going to do have to add the strings the same exact way on the other side. So yeah. Um, but yeah, all six colors will have been replaced and that makes it so that, um, I won't have to add any more string on the entire rest of this project. So there we go. That's done. Now bear with me here as I finish out this row, because as I go along the diamond or whatever, I can't finish off the diamond until I start the next one. So that's sort of a thing. Um, but then it allows me to actually take all these strings and set them aside because they're done as far as this row is concerned. So that's kind of a bonus. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of expected that I would be adding string in the next live stream this next Saturday. But as it turns out, this is already bringing me to the halfway point, and it's today is Monday. So yeah, I think even if I were to get a little bit lazy here, um, I would still have finished this row. And I know that uh, a few people have been asking how to add string, and this is a little bit different from the last one. So I just kind of wanted to cover it and just have a video up for you guys. So there we go. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to actually get around to editing this video. So you might be watching this on Friday and wondering why are you hearing about Monday so late, but, um, it's got a lot to do with having a lot to do, right? So anyways, so now we're going to go on the other side. The red one is a long one. So that just is a regular knot. And now we're to the brown and it's just the same thing. I'm just doing half the knot over here to the left. And then grabbing a brown string. And uh, yeah, I just have to find the center by putting the two together and sliding it through my fingers like this until I get the little loop. And if you're not careful with that and you get it off centered, you end up wasting a bunch of string for no reason. So it's. I use a little bit of caution just to make sure I get it right. Okay. And now it's the yellow's turn. Okay. 
I didn't do anything special to the string that's over on the side, so it, it kind of shows in the, how long it takes me to actually get this, but it is what it is. There's a bunch over there. I didn't quite put them all there. I have enough string cut to actually finish out this whole project, and some of it is still actually over on the wall. I, I just brought a small amount, 15, 20 strands. But it's still, you know, you have to get make sure that they're not accidentally taking two strands at a, you know, when you go to take it off the hook, because that could happen, and then you make a mess, and you get your strings in a bunch, and nobody wants that. There we go. And then the last string, of course, is another long one, so no need to do anything but tie my little knot. Now, this bit is a little bit trickier. And uh, grab my glasses, makes it easier for me to see. So these two reds here are full length whatever. So that very first knot is completely normal. And then what I have to do is make sure that I have all four strands of this brownish color, right? So there's like all four right here. And I tie my knot over top of them. And then I do the same thing with this yellow. And you want to make sure that you have all four. If you don't get all four, um, you're not going to have it secured down very well and uh, potentially just all kinds of chaos, chaotic bad stuff happens with that. Right. So, and then here's the last knot. So all those are really well anchored in there, and there's like two bits holding things together, which is, which is sort of good. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna anchor things down a little bit more. So let me put these off to the side because those aren't are no longer needed. And it's the same going the other direction. I'm gonna make sure that I have all four, and you gotta be careful not to like drag other stuff in there. But there's all four. And like I was saying um, in the previous live stream was that I like to have a good three or four knots holding in the, the tail of the older strings. And that way the whole thing becomes like machine washable and nothing can come unraveled. So um, this is only basically like two knots going over anything already. So now what I need to do is when I'm going to tie these two together is I need to take the long one here, right? And take the short one, kind of just get it out of the way. I'm going to take the long one, go over all four of these. And then I'm going to drag the short one over the top you know, so that it goes right into the middle of this knot and then finish the knot. And then I'm going to do that again on the next one, which should give me plenty of holding power to make sure that this is actually washable and durable and all that, right? So put that over and finish that knot over top of it. You kind of pull that nice and tight, make sure that's in there good. And now I don't need this any longer. I can either, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually reach around. I have a hole going through my board here that allows me to just drag that into the back. And then I'm going to finish out this little row. Mind you, this one is going over all four strands. So this one is this kind of orangey color or whatever is getting like anchored down more because it's now had a couple of strings go over top of it. So now let's go back to the other side, and we're going to do what we did before. I just have to figure out which one is the short one. This is the short one. Do the first half of my knot. Drag this one over. And tie it down. And then drag it off to the back. Now if you don't have a hole going through your board, you can kind of just slide it up underneath everything else, and that's fine. It's just that, seeing as how I happen to have a board that's actually been 
made like this because I was doing the big project, it is a little bit easier, but you know, you make do with what you have. You can just slide it out of the way. Just be cautious that you don't accidentally bring it back into the work later on because that's, that is a big fear of mine. It has happened before. I suddenly, instead of having six knots in a row, I tie seven and wonder like, wait, where did the seventh one come from? How is that possible? Oh, it was one of the short strands that should never have happened. And um, yeah, that can be a problem. So now I'm just going to do this one knot here with the yellow. And what I'll do now is find all the short ones because I don't need to go any more on those. So take these two yellows, run them in the back. And just for fun, I will go over this group of four just one more time, just to be sure that it's really anchored down. And anytime you're going over like where there's four strands instead of two, I like to give it just a little extra tightness just to try to conceal the fact that it is, in fact, uh, denser than the rest of the stuff. Um, it just kind of hides it a little bit better. You, you, When this whole project is done and you look at it, you'll be able to kind of tell that um, I've gone out of my way to sort of hide where the strings get get added because they just they really do they just sort of just disappear so yeah that's a that's sort of a thing um trying to find the long versus the short one here hang on there so these are the two short ones i'll drag them to the back whoops almost took the ones i need with it all right and now and you can see that the extra string has kind of got this the center part sort of pulled apart. So when I when I tie this knot, just a, a little added tug there, and everything comes back together really nice and tight. And again, it can just conceals the fact that it was a little bit denser just before that. And uh, there we have it. I'll end up finishing off the rest of this diamond this way and the next diamond just goes exactly like what I just showed you and that's it that's how I am progressing along so quickly as I am so hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you can use this in one of your bigger projects and uh, maybe it inspires you to try something you wouldn't have done um, I will be back this Saturday with a live stream and hopefully I'm kind of approaching the end of this project. So, yeah. Um, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. All right. So um, before I go, I want to thank all my Patreon supporters for making this possible. I really couldn't do it without you. So thank you so much for all of your support. And as always, don't get your strings in a bunch.